I'm so proud of my team and what they've accomplished this year. I think it was a phenomenal achievement. It, it was great teamwork. It was unselfish play. It was good defense. Uh, it was taking care of the little things. And just couldn't be happier with where we are right now. And we've still got a long road ahead of us, but um, I, I think we need to sit back for a moment and reflect on, on what we have accomplished. Did you get emotional that everybody's seen your night? <laughs> Yeah, they didn't have any emotion, did they? Um, you know, we, we really started slowly. You know, I, I thought we, um, you know, it was a great crowd. I thought it was a great atmosphere. Um, Gatling is a tremendous player. I mean, she is, she is really good. And uh, we, we had a, a little trouble containing her, I thought, for, for stretches. But, um, yeah, it was it was just, a, you know, one of those games where we weren't shooting the ball particularly well and then came out in the second half and played a little better. You got seven of your like the last eight shots in the first half. Just what kind of turned things around for you? I think came out, got to the foul line, and made a couple of free throws, and I think that gave her a little bit of a, of a jolt, which she needed. Um, and I thought we went inside a little bit and, and were able to score there. But you know, we weren't we weren't getting the running game, but the transition game was was not effective in the first half. So I thought better defense, better rebounding in the second half. That was the difference. Is is the transition game what triggered that seventeen goal? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't get as many offensive rebounds, I don't think, in the second half, and I thought that was key. Can you talk about the play of the inside game today, just the, the points and then the interior defense? Really efficient. I, I thought inside today with um, Natalie shooting eight for nine, that was that was just, she did a great job running the floor. She got some nice open shots, a couple of backdoor moves. We had some great passes to her. Uh, and I thought Ariel Breaker really had a great game. Uh, just a tremendous game for her, 12 points, eight rebounds. She, she really got us going, I thought, in the second half, and she kept us alive in the first half with her offensive rebounding. So really pleased with her. And then I thought Taya Reimer played very well also. Coach, is there any, I guess, allure to playing in Reynolds Coliseum with the history with Kay Yow and all? Did you get that feeling? <coughs> Yesterday when we came in to shoot, uh, the first thing I saw was the banner with Kay's picture on it. And um, it, it was a little bit of a moment for us to, to be in that gym uh, knowing the legacy that she's left all of women's basketball and what she's accomplished here has been truly amazing. Coach, just talk on the seniors' four years and, and what it means, what they've accomplished. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad they were able to get the record of uh, most wins in a four-year career because um, they've really earned it. Uh, I, I think this, this threesome has really... Uh, been pretty amazing. I, I think they've come a long way since their freshman year. They've worked hard together. Uh, they've given us great leadership. Uh, they've given us great uh, performances on the court. But you know, I think the attitude that they've gotten uh, the rest of the team to to really buy into the, the work ethic um, and what Notre Dame basketball is all about. I think they've just they're great ambassadors for our program. What's, what's that one thing you saw that that you realize, hey, this group can achieve? A a perfect regular season. When did you see that? I think it was about five minutes ago. <laughs> um, you know, I think we go into every game seeing the strengths of the other team and how we're going to match up with them and, you know, hoping that uh, that we make shots and, you know, there's so many things to think about. So I, I don't think we really thought about it much until it actually was here. Natalie, can you talk about, were you just quicker inside? To... Um, I think most of my baskets uh, came off of just uh, I think most of my baskets just came off transition. Um, I think once we got down the floor, I was more of a tra in the trailer spot, and I just ended up um, cutting to the basket when they were trying to overplay us. Um, and Lindsey Allen and, and our guards made some really great backdoor passes to me, and uh, just led to some easy layups. Are you comfortable running the court like that? Is that something you're, you've always been used to, or is that something that's just come from the type of offense Notre Dame likes to run? Um, I think just it started even just like when I came into Notre Dame freshman year. I mean, starting with Sky and now pass on to Lindsay. I mean, we just really like to get up the court. We really like to uh, score in transition. Um, so, I mean, in order to keep up, you're going to have to run the floor. So, uh, I think that's just uh, just how we play. How, how physical was it for you guys in the first half, and how were you able to get used to that and, and then respond? Um, Gatling's a great player. I mean, she's really strong and really physical. Um, so, just trying to use my foot speed a little bit to, to battle and uh, to counteract that <coughs> physicality. Um, yeah, just trying to keep up with her. How meaningful is it for you guys to be 29 and 0? Your first ACC season, 16 and 0. I mean, it wasn't easy. Every game was a battle. Um, definitely, 
uh, great to be part of the ACC, and uh, I think we just took it in stride. I'm really uh, excited to be at this point and, and to be uh, undefeated going into postseason. Um, this season ends, and now we're about to start a new one. Hadley, your four years kind of rounded home on your, on your career here another day. Have you felt like you've really put your stamp <coughs> on the program? I mean, I think every player coming in wants to be able to make a difference and uh, wants to be able to do something to give back to the program, to the coaching staff that give us so much. Um, and I think the three of us, between Ariel and KMAC and I, uh, we just I think our goal was to, to win every day. Um, let it be practice and let it be games. Uh, just making sure that our mark is that we work hard and our mark is that uh, we never leave any rock unturned. And I think that was our goal and we're going to continue focusing on that. Jewel, can you talk about the, the impact of having a, a, a post run the court in the transition? It's definitely hard to guard, you know. Ace, I, all, all our post players run the floor <coughs> and a lot of times they beat the guards on the floor. And like I said, we have great guards who uh, look ahead and we find them, so they do a good job running and finishing. What did you think you guys were able to take advantage of in the second half to just take command there of what you did? Um, just focusing on personnel, um, going back to our preparation and our game plan, um, really focusing on that and um, just trying to find some energy uh, and just keep running the floor. Can you talk about the way you guys finished that first half? Right. Um, like Coach said, came in, got to the line, and we found some momentum, and uh, shots started to fall for us, and we just started to really slot down. Can you talk about your free throw shooting today? <laughs> and you did your first eight. Team hit its first 18 in a row. Yeah, right, it's all about focus, and I, I think we're really good shooters, um, and definitely from the line, and just taking your time and just really focusing on your free throws. Are you guys competitive about the free throws in practice, or, I mean, what are you guys? We have been, <laughs> definitely. Um, you know, we take our time after you know, practice done to take your free throws. Um, most of us, I know, Ace, um, after practice does 10 in a row or 20 in a row. Um, you know, our guards do that too, so we really focus on that because it's very key in games.